Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing y'all how I made this simple banner to match the intro and outro I posted last week and the week before that. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check that out. <laughs> To make it, I use Fonto, Pixar, and Canva. They're all free, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the banner. First, you're gonna go to Google. You're gonna search Remove BG. Then you're gonna go to the first option. And you're gonna upload any photos that you wanna cut out the background from. For this banner, I'm gonna be using three full body pictures. So you're just gonna hit Upload Image. You're gonna choose the photo that you wanna upload. And as you see, it will remove the background for you. You don't have to do any work. So you're just gonna go ahead and hold down on the picture and you're gonna save it to your photos. So after you save that, then we're gonna go back to Google. And this time you're gonna search YouTube banner template. We're gonna go to images. And we're gonna need this to use as a guide so that we don't have any of our photos cut off. So you're gonna save that to your photos. Once you save that, then we're gonna go to Pixar. Once you get into Pixar, you're gonna click the plus button. You're gonna scroll until you get to the transparent background. Then you're gonna add all three photos that you cut out the background from. We're gonna make it bigger and then we're gonna to go to border. I'm gonna choose a white border. I'm gonna turn it down to one. Unselect the photo and you're gonna hit save. Do not hit apply or you will not be able to add any more photos. So just unselect the photo and then hit the save button. Then you're gonna exit out of this photo and you're gonna do the same thing to two other cutouts. After you save that, then we're gonna go to Fonto. Once you're in Fonto, you're gonna hit the camera button we're gonna hit plain images. We're gonna choose the second option. We're gonna to go to ratio. We're gonna to go to custom and we're gonna do 1920 by 1080. We need at least this big of a size to even be able to add a photo into YouTube. If the photo is too small, YouTube will not let you upload it as a banner. So you're gonna to go to color. Then we're gonna keep the first color white and for the second color, we're gonna use a mint green. This is the shade I'm using. It's BEDDC1. So we're gonna change the vertical ombre to horizontal. And we're gonna hit apply. Then you're gonna hit the arrow and you're gonna click use. Then you're gonna save it. After you save that, then we're gonna go into Canva. Once you're in Canva, you're gonna hit the plus button. You're gonna choose edit photo and you're gonna choose the photo we just made from Fonto. You're gonna click create. Then you're gonna hit the plus sign. You're gonna hit upload media and you're gonna add the three cutouts that we made from Pixar and you're gonna add the banner template once you have that, you're going to add the banner template first. Once that is added, you're going to make it bigger and you're just going to fit it so that it covers the whole background. Make sure that it's centered. You want to get it as close as possible to the same size as the background. You can go to position to help you center it. Okay, that looks good. It doesn't have to be super, super perfect, but it, you want it to be very close to the same size. Then you're gonna click it and you're gonna turn down the transparency. I just turn it down so that I can still see my lines, but I don't want it too dark to where I can't see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna add the three cutouts from Pixar. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna make this smaller and place it off to the side. Make sure that it's inside the safe zone. If you want it to show up on mobile, you want to make sure that everything's in the smallest rectangle. If it's outside of those lines, it will not show up on mobile, but it will show up on desktop. You can do whatever you want to do. I just like for all of my banners to show up on mobile so nothing's cut off. So I'm just going to add all three photos right next to each other. 
if it's not letting you move it to where you want to move it just zoom in and then you have like a better range of movement you just want to make sure that all three photos are the same size Once I have the photos where I like it, I'm going to click the plus button again. I'm going to go to text. I'm going to go to add a heading. I'm going to type in her channel name. I'm going to go to font. And I'm going to search pizza. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but this is the one we're going to be using. Then we're going to go to color and I'm going to search dark brown. I'm going to use the first dark brown color. I'm going to go to font size and I'm going to make it bigger. You can also make it bigger by pulling one of the arrows. I'm going to place that kind of in the middle. Then I'm going to go to add text again. I'm going to choose add a subheading. And this time I'm going to type fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I'm going to keep the font the same, which is open sans. Then I'm going to go to color. And I'm going to use this color in the Woodland Elk collection. I'm going to go to font size. I'm going to make it smaller. And place it below her channel name. So now I'm going to click the banner template just by clicking the background and I'm going to delete it and then we're going to go ahead and save it. Now to upload a banner you're just going to want to go to your channel. You're going to click the pencil. You're going to click the camera on top of your banner. And then you're just going to upload the banner and it should be perfectly centered to the way you need it already. You shouldn't have to move anything if you use the banner template correctly. This is why it's important to use a template. If I don't use a template, I don't really know what I'm doing. And you also want to make sure that your picture is big enough to be uploaded or YouTube will either not let you upload it or it will be super, super zoomed in. If you would like me to make a video showing you how you can fix a banner that's too small, let me know in the comments below and I'll make one. And that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what else you want to see from me. And yes, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.